Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper, and I have a new video called What's in a 1984 Hard Drive? So this is a hard drive from 1984. This is a massive one compared to the ones we are seeing today. But with technology moving so fast, they also have one called a solid state drive, meaning no moving parts. This one will be going in my new tower that I'm building, and it's the same size as a laptop hard drive. The newest in solid state drives is the M.2 drive. I only have a picture of this one. I'm actually waiting for the price to drop. It looks like a ram stick, but the gold fingers is on the side rather than on the bottom. And this is a motherboard I'll also be using in my new tower. And this one has two slots for the M.2. One you can see, and the other one is hiding beneath this heatsink. The M.2 is very simple to install. Just insert and screw on the board. That's it. So I started looking for this hard drive to see if they still exist. And I found this on Amazon. Can you believe that? This one's being sold for almost $200. I almost feel bad about scrapping this one. But since we're talking about Amazon, let me show you my Amazon page. Here you can purchase tools identical to the ones I use in my videos and the same safety gear I use when I go scrapping or stripping down equipment. Every time you buy from here, you help support the channel, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, if you want to see more videos on scrapping hard drives, take a look at Making Money with Hard Drives. I will also leave a link in the description below. So now that you've seen it all, let's get back to the real reason you came. Let's take apart this hard drive. You guys remember making a video on this? That's right, finding tantalum in electronics. If you haven't seen this video yet, I'll leave a link in the description below.
it's interesting to see in this video that this hard drive has a motor where the ones we're used to scrapping today has a magnet. Now look at the difference in size of what I scrapped and what we see today. All right, I like that video. That's pretty cool. Like I said in the video, it's interesting how today we use a magnet. I think it's pronounced neodymium. And in this one, they use the motor, which I was thinking because, you know, motors turn and make electric, electromagnetic electricity. Maybe that's how this hard drive works. I'm not sure. You decide. You tell me how this hard drive worked with that motor, if I'm correct with the uh, electromagnetic. Anyway, I... If you saw in the video, I took the platters and I put them together with the aluminum and I sold them as is. You could sell the aluminum platters separate, but I decided just to bunch everything up together. I hope you guys liked the video. This is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe. Till then, peace.